Hi everyone, this is Jonathan from Leica with another video here on Cyclone 3DR. So in this video I want to talk about cleaning a point cloud or cleaning people or objects out of a point cloud using a ground surface as a cutting tool. So you can see here we've got a point cloud that we have a lot of noise from pedestrians in. So we've got a whole line of people going into the building. Uh, inside the building here we've got a lot of people I just want to go over a quick way to go about cleaning these people out of here. So the first thing that I would do, uh, let's say that we just want to focus on this main building here. So we'll, first we'll isolate this building. So to do that, we'll go to the Clean tab, select our point cloud, say Clean Separate, and then make a fence of the area. We'll use the rectangle snap, and we'll just isolate the building. This will cut down on our processing time whenever we're doing some of these surfaces. I'll use the split tool so that I keep my original. Turn off the original and we'll keep our second point cloud here. Our, our split we're going to be manipulating. One thing I might do as well is in the outliner I might name this our working point cloud. focus. That way we can tell the two apart. So the next thing we'll do is I'll create a surface. Because this is what we're, we're trying to do is minimize the amount of time that we have to create different clipping boxes and angles. Using fencing tools to sort of cut out the people can be a little bit cumbersome inside there. So I want to show a quick way to go about uh, reducing that. So I'm just going to flip the building upside down here. And then we will use the surface modeling tool for DTM to create a ground surface. So you can see I've, I've got this set to flat. So I'll turn my angle all the way down to flat or as close to flat as I can get. It's got 10 degrees minimum. Leave this on our Z direction for our up direction. And then I'll just click the preview button to run with, with those settings. What we're looking to do here is extract a ground surface of the floor that we can use to basically remove the floor and then add it back in after we've done our trimming. So it looks like we've got our floor surface there. So we'll say OK on that. And we're not keeping this, but remember this isn't the actual floor model. This is just close approximation of what the floor looks like here. So we'll take this, we'll turn our focus point cloud back on. And then what we'll do is we want to separate a thin layer of points right above this floor mesh that we created. So I'll select my mesh, select my point cloud. Back on the Clean tab, we have a tool called Separate With. We can do Separate on both sides, Separate According to Distance, or Separate According to Orientation. In this case, we want Separate According to Distance. So what this tool will do we first select the cloud to filter, so our focus cloud, so we've got that picked, and then our filter object, which is our ground mesh. Then we provide a distance threshold. So this is going to separate all the points that are whatever distance we set here. So in this case, I might call this, um, let's make this a tenth of a foot. tenth of a foot on either side of that mesh. And we check these boxes for filtering the points close to the object and filtering the points far from the object. And we'll go ahead and run that preview. So what it's going to do is give us turn this focus point cloud into two separate point clouds. One that's going to have all the points that are within a tenth of a foot from that mesh and all the points that are outside of that. You can see we've got both sets of points. We've got 8 million close points and 100 million far points. We'll say OK on this because it looks like what we want. Now, we'll turn off our mesh group. Let's turn off our points far from the ground first. So here are all the points that we filtered out that are close to our ground surface. We'll zoom in close here so we can see, make sure that we got 
pretty close to just the ground. Now we'll turn on our points far away and turn off our points close to the ground mesh. And you can see we basically have cut the floor off the building uh, using that algorithm. So the next thing we would want to do, if we want to just cut out the pedestrians, was we could maybe clip this point cloud and then do a top-down cleanup. So the first thing we'll do, we'll go back to the Cloudworks tab, and let's set a limit slice. Let's set a z-axis limit slice. So I'll pick a point on the ground for kind of the bottom of my slice, and then I'll pick a point that might be, let's say, go right above head height here so we don't get the chandeliers also. Let me undo that clip. Try this again. Pick a point close to the ground. And then pick a point about head height. There we go. That's kind of what I'm looking for. So I'll go back into my orbit view, or my uh, my ortho view, and then I'm going to lock this in the z-axis. You can see now we have sort of a clear view here to just go through and cut out pedestrians. So that's what I'm going to do right now. We'll go back to our clean tab, go to clean separate, and now we can start going through. In this case, since we've got some odd shapes here, I might just use the free the lasso, and we can go through and start lassoing people out of here. I got a little bit too close to the door there. Take those out. We've got a big line coming in the front door here. Say okay. So now we've cleaned out the main building. I'll go back to my Cloudworks tab and reset my clip. We'll turn the floor back on. And then let's go back to perspective mode and take a look inside the building and see how we did. Looks like we've cleaned the space up quite a bit. So that's the first way that I would go about doing this. This is kind of the fastest way to do uh, just a quick cleanup. Um, I did, looks like I cleaned out a little bit of an exhibit there, so we probably want to avoid that whenever we actually do our cleanup. Uh, and then you can go through and refine this further. The second method that we have for doing cleanup is classification. So what we'll do is we'll start a new drawing. This one takes a little bit longer. So I'll load in the point cloud. We'll load in the same exact point cloud that we just used. Uh, the original raw one before we did our cleanup. I'll let this load. Now our point cloud's loaded in. If we want to just run classification, all we do is we select the point cloud and we go to the clean tab and then you can see this button here for auto classification. Now you do need to have a CUDA capable GPU to do this and have the classification module of 3DR installed. It'll automatically do that for you if you click this button and you don't have it as long as your GPU is capable of doing it. So I click Auto Classification. You'll see here I have several different options. So I've got Heavy Construction UAV, Indoor, Indoor Construction, Outdoor, Road, and I've also got Filter People for BLK Mobile. So this is BLK to go data, and we've got people in here, so this is exactly what we're looking to do is filter people out. So I'll use this uh, Filter People model, and then I just say Preview. Now this process will take a little while. Um, for my laptop, for a point cloud this size, it's probably going to take about two hours to run through. So this is a good one um, if you've got some time to run it, or if it's like say you've got uh, time overnight to let a point cloud like this run to, to do some cleanup for you with the classification algorithm. So I'm going to let this run, and then I'll show you what the results are. Here we are with the finished data set after the classification is run. Like I said, it took about two hours to run this. As you can see, it did a really good job of classifying out these people. So we've got a couple of false positives here. We want to reclassify like this uh, on the telephone pole. But just look at this, removing the line here. Um, we'll go inside the building. You can 
can see it basically cut out all the people here. So let me filter this by class. Uh, I could select the point cloud, go to clean, and then we can split it by class. We'll explode by class. Now we've got moving objects we can just turn off, and then we've got unclassified. So pretty good for an automated routine of removing the uh, pedestrians. Uh, we'll change this back to real color. And you can see it basically removed the entire line of folks standing out in front of the building. We've got a little bit here by the door that we still need to clean up, but overall not bad. So those are two different methods that you can use to quickly remove pedestrians to the classification. You know, if you've got a little bit more time, you can run the classification to get rid of that. Uh, but I hope that uh, you found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.